good morning dear students today let us discuss one of the most important topics from second pu's syllabus from the chapter principles of inheritance and variation and the topic is mendelian disorders which are otherwise called gene disorders because as we all know that gene is otherwise called a mendelian factor as the gene is also called mendelian factor gene disorders are also called mendelian disorders and dear students in our syllabus we have the topic genetic disorders and actually genetic disorders are of two types these are the problems associated with malfunctioning of a single defective gene or presence of single defective gene or it is the problem associated with the chromosome structure or chromosome number so when the problem is with the presence of a single defective gene and such disorder is called a gene disorder and otherwise called mendelian disorder and by birth itself some babies take birth with defective chromosomes means problem may be in the chromosome structure or problem may be with the chromosome number and such problems are called chromosomal disorders but today i am not going to discuss chromosomal disorders in this video purely i am going to concentrate on the problems which are caused due to the presence of a single defective gene hence we are calling them as gene disorders otherwise called mendelian disorders and in our second puc syllabus for gene disorders total five examples are given which are clearly written on the board you can see here the five gene disorders are first one hemophilia next color blindness third one sickle cell anemia and fourth one phenylketonuria and fifth one is thalassemia and thalassemia is further classified into alpha thalassemia and the beta thalassemia so let me repeat in the syllabus total how many gene disorders are discussed five gene disorders are discussed and the five gene disorders are hemophilia color blindness sickle cell anemia phenylketonuria and thalassemia and uh, here you can see i said all these five are the problems associated with the presence of a single defective gene means some babies unfortunately by birth itself they will be having a single defective gene on their chromosomes and which cause the serious and a variety of problems in their body and you can see here gene which causes hemophilia is present on which chromosome that's what i have written here gene responsible for hemophilia is always present on x chromosome so x means you know it is a sex chromosome 23rd pair of chromosome gene for color blindness is also present on x chromosome so with this it is very clear hemo gene for hemophilia and gene for color blindness are the problems associated with the defective genes present on x chromosome and next gene which is responsible for sickle cell anemia is present on 11th pair of chromosomes and gene responsible for phenylketonuria is present on 12th pair of chromosomes and coming to thalassemia as i said alpha thalassemia can alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia gene responsible for alpha thalassemia is present on 16th pair of chromosomes and gene responsible for beta thalassemia is present on 11th pair of chromosomes so a best question in neat can be asked as match the following because here student should remember the gene disorder name and that gene present on which chromosome so that's why it is very clear dear students 
out of the five gene disorders three two sorry two are associated with what sex chromosomes means gene for hemophilia and gene for color blindness they are present on x chromosome that is 23rd pair and the remaining three that is sickle cell anemia phenyl ketonuria and thalassemia genes for these three disorders are present on 11th 12th 16th and once again 11th respectively you know up to 22nd pair autosome so sickle cell anemia phenyl ketonuria and thalassemia are the autosomal disorders hemophilia and color blindness are the sex linked disorders start let us discuss hemophilia which is an x linked recessive trait so in my previous video i have already told you hemophilia is an example for x linked recessive trait and it follows a special pattern of inheritance which is called criss cross pattern of inheritance in which trait passes from p1 male to f2 male through f1 female and hemophilia is commonly called royal disease and otherwise called bleeders disease and hemophilia trait was more commonly inherited in the european royal families like queen victoria because of that reason hemophilia is known as royal disease and hemophilia is the problem associated with delay in the mechanism of blood clotting as we all know whenever a injury occurs in a healthy person within 6 to 8 minutes blood naturally get gets clot and further loss of blood from the injury is prevented but the people who are suffering from hemophilia continuously loses the blood even from a simple injury so it clearly tells you when person takes birth with hemophilia it results in continuous bleeding because of that reason hemophilia is also called bleeders disease and technically hemophilia is classified into hemophilia type a and hemophilia type b the most common form of hemophilia means in the world population more than 80% of hemophilics belong to the type a and the rare form of hemophilia is hemophilia type b means in the world population out of total hemophilic patients more than 80% of the hemophilic patients belongs to type a that's why the most common form of hemophilia is hemophilia type a and the rare form of hemophilia is called hemophilia type b and here you can see on the board hemophilia type a is caused due to the deficiency of blood clotting factor number 8 and the name of the blood clotting factor number 8 is ahf ahf stands for anti hemophilic factor so students i repeat the most common form of hemophilia is hemophilia type a and it is caused due to the deficiency in the production of blood clotting factor number 8 and the name of blood clotting factor number 8 is ahf which stands for anti hemophilic factor and the rare form of hemophilia that is hemophilia type b it is caused due to the deficiency in the production of blood clotting factor number 9 and blood clotting factor number 9's name is ptc ptc stands for plasma thromboplastin component ptc stands for what plasma thromboplastin component 
and it is the factor involved in the mechanism of blood clotting and it is the blood clotting factor number 9. So let me make it very simple. Hemophilia is the problem associated with mechanism of blood clotting and gene for hemophilia is always present on X chromosome. That's why hemophilia is an example for X-linked recessive trait. What are the common names of hemophilia? It is called royal disease and it is also called bleeder's disease. And what are the two forms of hemophilia? Type A and type B. So type A is the most common form of hemophilia caused due to the deficiency of blood clotting factor number 8 whose name is anti-hemophilic factor. And the rare form of hemophilia is Hemophilia type B caused due to the deficiency in the production of blood clotting factor number 9 which is called PTC and students the blood clotting factor number 9 its technical name is plasma thromboplastin component but it is commonly called Christmas factor. So the blood clotting factor number 9 is also called Christmas factor. So that's why whenever person suffers from hemophilia type B which is caused due to the deficiency of Christmas factor, the disease is called Christmas disease. An important question for NEET exam and AIMS exam etc. What is Christmas disease? Christmas disease is the other name for Hemophilia type B because hemophilia type B is caused due to the deficiency of Christmas factor. What is a Christmas factor? It is the other name for blood clotting factor number 9. Let us discuss the next gene disorder which is also an X-linked recessive trait that is color blindness. And students, you should understand Color blindness is not complete blindness or it is not night blindness. And usually we hear about night blindness. Night blindness is actually caused due to the malfunctioning of the rods that is which are responsible for dim light vision or twilight vision. And night blindness is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin A whose chemical name is retinol. And students should understand, here I am not talking about night blindness and for your information I am telling you, night blindness in medical terms it is called nyctalopia and it is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin A whose chemical name is retinol. But our topic is color blindness and it is an example for X-linked recessive trait. In this condition, people are not completely blind or people are not night blind, but people are blind for few colors of the visible spectrum. That's why this condition is called color blindness. Means in very simple terms, by birth itself, some people cannot see the red color and such person is said to be blind for red color and that condition is called red color blindness. So in this way, color blindness can be of three types that is red color blindness, green color blindness and the blue color blindness. So red color blindness is otherwise called proteinopia. Green color blindness is called deuteranopia and blue color blindness is called tritanopia and first two at PUC level whether it is for NEET or CET students should remember the most common forms of color blindness that is red color blindness and the green color blindness. Red color blindness is called protonopia, green color blindness is called deuteranopia and students should understand it is the problem or it is the problem associated with a gene 
present on once again what x chromosome so you know already color blindness is also an example for x linked recessive trait and it also follows criss cross pattern of inheritance and in the human population color blindness trait was extensively studied by dr dalton so named after dalton color blindness is otherwise called daltonism okay so named after the doctor who studied color blindness in human population it is also called daltonism and for competitive exams students should remember this name ishihara charts ishihara charts are used to detect color blindness means when a person suffering from color blindness goes to doctor and if doctor wants to detect whether that person is color blind or not to detect color blindness in humans a special type of color detecting charts are used and these charts are called ishihara charts and simply remember ishihara charts are used to detect color blindness color blindness is also called daltonism and in the human population most common type of color blindness is red color blindness and green color blindness which are respectively called protonopia and deuteronopia and gene for color blindness is present on x chromosome hence color blindness is an example for x linked recessive trait and it follows criss cross pattern of inheritance